Neil. So, a question that I get asked a lot is, do I watch the current run of Star Trek shows? And the answer is, I, in all honesty, I got out of science fiction stuff uh, a couple of years back, and I never really got into it. Uh, I did give Discovery a try during its first and second season, uh, and after that I just gave it up because it's a hopeless mess. Uh, I, I have gone to see the the last couple of Star Wars films that came out, and I was disappointed there too, as I think we all were. Um, so when you ask if I've seen uh, Star Trek Picard, I watched season one with a lot of hope, and that hope lasted right up until uh, the end of the first episode. I know they said that they weren't looking to do a Next Generation reboot, and initially I was all right with that. But then I saw what we were actually getting, and I've said it before, Star Trek Picard is what you would get if you took the character descriptions for Star Wars characters and plastered Star Trek character names on top of them. So Picard is the Obi-Wan, Rios is the Han Solo, and so on and so forth. And I mean, La Serena is basically the Millennium Falcon in the Gene Roddenberry universe. So when I watch Picard. I don't see the Star Trek universe that I remember. Yeah, they threw in some uh, Easter eggs and some things for legacy watchers like me, but there isn't enough to sustain it over the course of 10 episodes. I'm sorry. And season two doubled down on everything that didn't work in season one. When I tune into Star Trek, I want to see a space-based adventure. I mean, I mean, it's what we've been seeing since the 60s. I mean, we spent half a century being taught what to expect when we tune in to Star Trek. But what did we get in Season 2? We got one episode in space. Season 2, Episode 1 was set in space. And Season 2, Episode 10 was set partially in space. But the rest of it was a ground-based adventure with nary a starship in sight. And... As grateful as I am that they uh, brought the Borg into it, and Annie Worshing did a great job as the Borg Queen, uh, the season's plot line was too just weird. And the turning point for me came when uh, I was reading a review of one of the episodes on Trek Core, and the reviewer made the mistake of injecting their own opinions about present day situations into their review. And that is bad. That is bad. So, what I will say, what I will say about Picard season two as a whole, was it's basically what you get when you shoo out the writers that made Star Trek a viable franchise for, let's see, from 1987 to 2002, and you shoo those people out, and you bring a bunch of noobs into the picture that don't understand the universe and don't understand the characters. And, and yeah, so I didn't watch season two. I've heard season three is going to be the most uh, faithful to the franchise that we will see. So we will see. But anyway, if you were wondering, that's what I have to say about that. Y'all have a good night.